I'm Gina John, osteopath and Pilates trainer at the Osprey Clinic in London and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about what is good posture and showing you a set of exercises that can be performed daily to help you improve your posture. And you may need to do this because you're suffering from neck, shoulder and back problems or perhaps you're sitting for long periods at the computer or playing musical instruments. So first of all, I'm going to show you how we determine if someone is sitting correctly. When we talk about good posture, what we are doing is activating the muscles at the front of the body, the flexor muscles, and also the back of the body, the extensor muscles, in order to combat the pull of gravity. So if I'm slouching forwards, the muscles of my neck and the back of the shoulder and the spinal area are working to stop me falling further with the pull of gravity. Okay? If I'm arching backwards, if I'm doing a job where I have to have my hands raised and I'm arching backwards, then it's actually the abdominal muscles and the pectoral muscles that are working to combat the pull of gravity that is taking the body backwards. So we're concerned with how are we going to maintain the uh, midline of the body, the neutral position of the body, so that it is neither being pulled forwards or backwards by the effects of gravity. So in order to do that, we are looking at specific muscles for strengthening the shoulder muscles so they don't slope forwards and we're looking at also strengthening the abdominal muscles uh, as well as strengthening our spinal muscles including the neck area. So the first exercise I'm going to show you is just sitting in the chair and you can do this with or without a TheraBand the elbows are pulled nice and tightly in towards the side of the waist and then we are repeatedly opening and closing the band. We're pulling the elbows really tightly in towards the side of the waist. So looking face on, if you're looking at a mirror to check your posture while you do this, you want to see that there is no light coming through between the arm and the side of the body. The elbows are pulled really tightly in towards the waist. And you can build this up, opening and closing the arms until you are able to perform 30 repetitions in one session. You want to be pulling in your tummy with maximum effort. Try to feel the pelvic floor muscles connected in the background and you're pressing your shoulders right down away from your ears, keeping the length through the back of your neck as you're opening and closing the arms. At the same, at the same time, as we open the arms, we don't want to lean backwards. So keep a connection under the front of the ribs. Feel that you're connected into your upper abdominal muscles as you're repeatedly opening and closing the arms. And you'll notice that I'm not sticking out my chin or lifting the shoulders. The shoulders are pushed down and we're lengthening through the back of the neck, through the crown of the head and up to the ceiling. If you're not familiar with the basic Pilates method of connecting your core muscles, being your abdominal and pelvic floor muscles, then please refer to another video on my channel, which will give you full details of how to work these muscles. We are sitting ideally with the legs straight and pressed down onto the mat. Keep the feet pulled up towards your chin and bring your arms parallel to your legs. Pull back the abdominal muscles, navel to spine, and feel the connection into your pelvic floor muscles in the background. We're exhaling.
inhaling to drop the chin and curve the body forwards over the legs. Keep that curve for the in-breath and breathing out as you return to the upright posture. Keep pulling in the tummy with maximum effort as we roll forwards and backwards over the legs. Keep pressing down the shoulders right away from your ears. And try to feel that you're tightening around the buttocks and into the pelvic floor muscles and that will help you to rebuild your spine every time you come back up to sit straight again. Try and repeating that around 10 times and then bring your hands behind your head, keep your elbows wide and sit up nice and straight. We're dropping the chin, exhaling to roll forwards over the legs keeping the elbows out to the side as we take that in breath, breathing out as we roll up and sit nice and tall again. We're pressing the shoulders right down away from the ears as we roll forwards and back, pressing the legs firmly down into the mat and trying to keep the tension around the buttocks and into the pelvic floor muscles. And we can repeat that around 10 times and then repeat the exercise but breathe in as you look up to the ceiling, opening your elbows, lifting the chest, breathing out to roll forwards again. Take a breath in and breathing out as we come back up to sit straight. Breathe in as you look up to the ceiling and really open out your arms and breathing out to drop the chin and roll forwards again. Take a breath in and breathing out to roll up. Breathing in as you look to the ceiling, opening the elbows. Keep pulling in the tummy with maximum effort, keeping that connection into the buttocks and pelvic floor. Squeeze down the shoulders as you look up to the ceiling. And that can be repeated for another 10 times. So for the next exercise, we are going to be face down onto the mat. And it's always a good policy to put a flattish pillow under the abdomen to avoid any hyperextension in the lumbar area. So I have one pillow at the head end. I have another pillow under the abdomen and my feet are just hip joint width apart. We're pulling in the tummy with maximum effort. Try and feel the connection into your pelvic floor muscles. On the out breath, we're lifting the head, but keep looking directly down to your mat. Squeeze the shoulders to your hips as you hold the position. On the next out breath, we're lowering the head back down onto the hands. As you exhale, lift your head, take a breath in and breathing out as you lower. We're pulling in the tummy with maximum effort and feeling a connection into the pelvic floor muscles in the background. The buttocks are relaxed. The legs are relaxed on the mat also. And we're repeating that exercise 10 times, trying to squeeze the shoulders firmly down to the back of the waist as you're lifting your head. Now let's pop the head down onto the cushion. Press your legs tightly together. Squeeze around the buttocks and your hands are just alongside your hips. As you exhale, lift your head from the pillow. Press the hands to the thighs as you hold the in-breath. Breathe out as you lower your head back down again. Exhaling as you lift. Breathe in as you hold the position. Breathing out as you lower back down. 
Press the shoulders down towards the mid back, pressing the legs tightly together as you hold it and back on the out breath again. Maintain the connection into the deep tummy muscles, drawing in navel to spine and feel the connection through to the pelvic floor muscles. As your back gets stronger, we can add a side bend movement, stretch down the thigh one side, come back to center, stretch down the other side and come back to center and then lower your head down and release. Coming up again, exhale, breathe in, reach, breathe out, come back to center, breathe in, reach the other way. Breathe out, return to center. Breathe in as you lower back down. And this sequence can be repeated 10 times. Then coming up onto all fours. The cat stretch, as well as being a stretch, it's also a postural exercise. We exhale to curve. Draw the tailbone under, let your head release down towards the mat. Breathe in, hold. Breathe out as you rebuild the tabletop position. So as we rebuild the tabletop, we're using our abdominal muscles and our shoulder muscles. We're exhaling as we curve. Breathe in as you hold the stretch, scooping the navel to the ceiling. Breathing out as you return to your tabletop position. Exhale, curve, breathe in, hold, breathe out to return to the tabletop position. So when you finish that movement and you have regained the tabletop, you want to be looking directly down to the mat. Be careful that your head isn't just sinking downwards. You want to activate the muscles at the back of your neck in order to maintain the neutral alignment. So your neck is actually in line with your upper back. So you may actually want to get somebody to check that you are doing that correctly. Okay, so you're exhaling to curve under, breathe in, hold, and breathing out to return to that tabletop position. Exhaling as you curve, breathe in, hold, Breathing out as you return to the tabletop position and really work the shoulders, pressing them to the hips each time. Throughout the exercise, the tummy is in nice and tightly and we feel the connection into the pelvic floor muscles. The next exercise is a hip stretch but we're also going to maintain a static upright posture to work our back muscles. So you may wish to cushion one knee, so we're putting the weight through that knee, and then bring your body weight forwards. Feel that stretch into the back hip and thigh. You may only be able to go to that point if your hip is quite tight, and then hopefully as you improve your flexibility, you can stretch a little bit further. We want to keep the body upright and that works into our back muscles. So the back is working to avoid slouching forwards. Push down the shoulders gently with your hands just resting on the knee. As you get a little bit more proficient with that, you can take the arms alongside the body Keep pulling in nice and tightly, navel to spine. And to challenge your balance further and your back muscles further, you can hold the position with your hands just behind your head. Squeeze the shoulders down towards the back of your waist. these static postures for around 20 to 30 seconds. So for the next exercise we're coming up to standing and it would be beneficial to use some light weights but not absolutely essential. Okay. So we're standing holding a weight in each hand. 
I'm using 1.25 kilos here and we're going to start off with a biceps curl, pushing down the shoulders, pulling in the tummy nice and tightly and feel the connection into your pelvic floor muscles. We're exhaling to fold the arms, breathing in as we straighten them again. Exhale, fold, breathe in as you straighten them. So we're keeping the back nice and upright, pulling the elbows tightly in towards the side of the waist. And of course we are working the biceps, the front of the arm, but we're also stabilizing the shoulder girdle using the shoulder stabilizing muscles, which are also very important in maintaining good posture. And we can build up to around 30 repetitions. If you're using a heavier weight, you may well do fewer repetitions. For the next exercise, we are going to lean the body forward slightly so that you're bearing the weight more over the balls of your feet and you're going to repeatedly push back your arms. Try to keep the weights behind the body as we repeatedly push back. You're pulling in the tummy with maximum effort. You're squeezing your shoulders firmly down away from your ears. Try to feel a connection around the buttocks and into your pelvic floor muscles as you maintain that forward leaning posture. All the time, keeping the weights behind you. Keep lengthening up through the back of the neck. Avoid the chin poking forwards. And you can repeat that up to 50 times. Okay, and now let's finish with a stretch for the neck and shoulders. We're lifting the shoulders up, back and down, up, back and down. Really pull the shoulders down away from your ears. Keep your body nice and straight. From the side view, we can see that the shoulders are moving, but the rest of the body is staying really upright and still. Working into those postural muscles to maintain that upright position. Keep pulling in the tummy and feel the connection into your pelvic floor muscles. And now stretching out the side of the neck to finish our session, ear to one shoulder, then take the head in a semicircle in front of the body, bring the ear to the other shoulder. Take a breath in, breathe out as you take your head over to the other shoulder, take a breath in, breathing out as you take your head over to the other shoulder. Breathe in as you hold it there, Breathing out as you move your head over to the other side. Breathe in, hold, and breathing out to take your head over to the other side again. So I really hope that the video has helped you today and that you are now on a journey to improving your posture with the help of these exercises. Obviously, if you're able to perform them every day, you will be able to achieve your objective of a better posture much faster, but do try and fit them into your life as time allows. If you'd like any further advice, then by all means post a comment and I will definitely get back to you. Please like, share and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again. All the best. Bye.